Hi, I'm Sir Chisoo and welcome to Mac Studio 8. Welcome back to episode 3 from series 1 of how to get the best experience from an Apple TV 3rd generation. In this episode, how to use the Apple TV remote app to control the Apple TV using your iOS devices with voice search and without the need of turning on home sharing. So, let's get started. To control the Apple TV using the iPhone and iPad, the Apple TV and iDevices has to be on the same network and you will need to download the remote app from the iOS App Store. As shown, I have already downloaded version 4.2. Once downloaded, you can press the open button here or launch the remote app from the iOS screen as shown. I'll first pair the iPhone to the Apple TV by pressing add a device where a 4 digit pairing ID is automatically generated for you. Using the Apple remote, scroll to and select settings. Then select general and scroll down and select remote. And finally, scroll to the name of your iPhone, which in my case is Mac Studio A's iPhone, and press select. Now enter the four digit pairing ID. The Mac Studio A's iPhone is now activated and paired with the Apple TV. Repeat for the iPad, but now instead of using the Apple remote to enter the pairing ID, you're prompted to enter the pairing ID from the iPhone. Now that's neat. Pressing the question mark symbol on the remote app screen shows how to use gestures to control the Apple TV, as shown here. The remote app also allows for voice search, as demonstrated here. Steve McQueen. Elvis. If you prefer, you can type your search query. Going to settings and selecting main menu allows you to choose what channels you want shown or hidden on the home screen. When pressing the option symbol on an icon from the home screen, it will begin to jiggle. Now just drag to a new position. By the way, the message that says press play pause for more options does not seem to work. To fully appreciate the ease of use of the remote app, you have to give it a try for yourself. I should mention, or my major pet peeve when using the Apple remote or the remote app on your iOS devices, and that is, no volume controls. Now this just drives me up the wall. Having to use two remotes, one for navigation control and your TV remote for volume controls, just doesn't work for me. Please Apple, fix this issue, just had to get this off my chest. And that's all there is to it. Using the remote app in my opinion delivers a better experience than using the Apple remote. Let me know what you think if you have an Apple TV. Thanks for watching and thumbs up if you like this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to be notified of the next episode. Thanks and peace.